Hi, this is Suze Eleven Tarot. Okay, so um, this is going to be a Scorpio bonus. Okay, so as I ended that uh, last video today, I was starting to feel a little bit of the kind of uh, Taurus energy with Uranus. So I was wondering if that had an impact. Okay, so I kind of want to dig into that a little bit and see uh, what comes up now. Okay, so. Okay, so. Um, okay, so it was like wanting to move forward, okay, to create and be creative and creating new things. Okay. Okay, so you got the house of flowers. Okay, so some of you moved into a, uh, a wonderful house. Okay, and uh, some of you separated from someone and then got with someone else and then moved into a new home, married and all that business or got together. Okay, uh, then due to certain circumstances, um, it was either you outgrew the relationship or outgrew uh, that place. You know how um, it's like you feel like um, everything's, uh, there's not much to explore, that feeling. Okay, so then I feel like there was movement. Okay, so some of you might have moved to a colder region. Okay, uh, some of you might have moved out to the country. Okay, and some of you might have wanted to do something that was outside of your culture or country. You wanted to step away from old belief systems or the culture that was ingrained, okay, to kind of uh, explore the new and your new creativity. Okay, see, because the, her dress is, goes from like beige to color, right? So it's like new hope rising. Okay, so then we have here the gift. Okay, so I feel like Scorpio, the gift is you. Okay, and your beingness. Okay. So, uh, you know, here's the swan here, and here you are looking like you, you have angel wings too. <laughs> Okay, but I feel like it, through your expression, Scorpio, um, that there has been, it's like a giving a gift to the universe for people to uh, kind of experience you, okay? So um, some of these might be like those uh, box giveaways that people do. So maybe perhaps you're into uh, something like that where you do giveaways. Okay, because here's a box. Okay. All right, so. Okay, and some of you are uh, looking forward to creating new things to uh, um, share with other people, uh, especially around the holidays. So you're already doing plans for that. Okay, so. I feel like this is the direction of that magic card. Okay, you want to uh, keep exploring you, the mystery of you, and unfolding uh, your creativity. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, so for some of you, you actually uh, split up with a person, like I said, it's four of cups reversed, five of pentacles reversed, and then seven of pentacles. So, um, okay, was this way? Okay, so you felt like you had to leave the love relationship 
okay, to come into working on your, uh, your business aspect. Okay, so you had to focus on the money. Okay. Okay. Because some of you had to rebuild, right? Okay. Three of Cups and Four of Pinnacles reversed. Okay. Okay, so Three of Cups and, and then we have Four of Pinnacles reversed. So you're letting go of your partying ways, I feel like. You're more moving into more stability is uh, because here's the Queen of Pinnacles. So you have Three of Cups moving away from the party thing, okay, and then uh, letting go of uh, whatever all this was causing uh, stuff. And then moving into the more stable you, Queen of Pinnacles, okay. Okay, that's nice, Scorpio. All right, so, but what about love? Because you did have an eye on love. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Notice how her neck is tall. So I feel like this is you, your sixth dimensional, tapping into your future self, the sixth dimension, and really uh, looking to see uh, what you could add to the things that you were, uh, that you wanted to explore before you even came here. Okay, so here is a bunny rabbit, okay, and then these, this little pumpkin face looks like a dog face, okay, so, <laughs> all right, so maybe connecting with your animals would be nice, okay, so here we have, okay. Okay, so that's what it keeps coming, okay. So some of you may have been uh, in your polar energy. That's probably what that Uranus energy I felt, um, which is Taurus. Okay, so uh, maybe, uh, so in order to raise your frequency, you want to um, spend time in silence and, and look in for inspiration. Okay, and um, okay, so, so, Whoever it was you were loving on, you weren't communicating. And um, also look into parental things with a father figure. It's coming up again. Okay, any kind of parental things with father. Okay, look into that dynamic because that could have affected your past relationship. Okay, so... Um, so also, some of you weren't communicating with your uh, one of your parents, okay, for some. So that could have affected your love relationship too, okay. And the other thing is um, you had somebody that you were interested in. You didn't go towards them, but, uh, and you didn't communicate. They probably didn't even know. Okay, let me clarify this Seven of Cups reverse for this Emperor, see what that is. Some people may have not approached you because they thought you had too many options. That's one thing I'm picking up. Okay, but you were busy working. Okay, so that might have been an insecurity on their part. Okay, page of wands. Okay, page of wands. Yeah, this is a father. Um... Okay, so the one thing, another thing's coming up is, okay, so you didn't want to be like your dad. Okay, so 
uh, for one person. So then that affected how you moved your energy. Okay. But we've got Page of Wands and Ace of Wands. Okay, so I feel like you've really, most of you probably have released that, but the fact that it's showing up here, some may not have. Okay, so here's the Queen of Swords and the Emperor. Oh, okay. All right, so for another group of you, okay, so your father... And their wife didn't do well because you have Queen of Swords reverse and the Emperor. And, okay, his view of the divorce and his perception of the divorce was distorted. Okay, his perception of what happened was distorted. Okay, just want to let you know that. Okay, to a degree. So we don't know what that degree is. They're not showing me. So it could be a small or a big, okay? All right, but that separation is kind of... Uh, look into your subconscious because is your hidden mind. Do you think maybe because of that relationship not going well, you have the same idea about relationships? Okay. So, because what I'm picking up here is that he was, he, okay, what I'm picking up here was he was in love with her, the wife, okay, but the thing was, he was, uh, he was busy doing other things, okay, so, hmm. I feel like on both sides there was not a degree of openness and honesty and communication. So what I want to say to you is because that they were not communicating clearly to each other, the key for you in success in relationship is communication. Okay, because here's a chariot reverse and then the eight of wands. So the future is take action and communicate. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. Okay. So with the retrogrades, okay, I want to say that um, this Ace of Pentacles may felt like it was going slow, but it actually is like this, okay? The money is here, okay? It's, it's already... Uh, been queued up to come in okay so know that okay so uh, just diligently keep trucking through do what you need to do in your action steps to get there and um, and then uh, get ready for your harvest Okay, so with that said, the Uranus energy, um, it doesn't go direct, I think, until January. So that's the key. Just remember to keep going. Keep going. You may feel like nothing's happening, but it actually is. But I don't feel like this is the first time in your rodeo, right? <laughs> that's what I'm getting. Okay, so King of Pentacles. Wow, see, so that's what I'm talking about. It's going to feel like a big paradigm shift, right? Okay, so you got Ace of Pentacles and then King of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like what's what's dominating is the, uh, the you wanting stability above all, okay? Want stability and... Uh... Oh, wow, there's Taurus back here. See, that's what I was talking about, that, um, that Taurus energy. Okay. Okay, that's that Uranus showing up. Okay. 
Yeah, Uranus is in Taurus. And then uh, around January, it switches. I don't know. I don't remember where it goes. Okay, but... Okay, so Five of Swords reversed and the Queen Queen of Swords reversed. Okay, so I feel like the air sign that you are interested in, you may not take the steps right now until you sure up your energy. So that's meditation, right? And we had from the last video and also um, building your foundation. Okay, so the birds that are here, we have a hawk or an eagle, and then we've got an owl and the, the taurus. Okay, so that's what that's the key. Okay, so the key is this paradigm shift is on its way, okay? It's going to happen. You just have to keep trucking through. And then build on your foundations, your stability and finances. Work on that. And then that love is going to come in because you're going to feel uh, with more self-esteem. And you're going to feel good about yourself. So that's going to attract, your essence is going to attract this new opening in love. Okay? All right, so that's why you had your eye on love because your future self, which is here with the long neck, I, I always say that's like the giraffe energy, okay? So uh, looking into your future self, so you had your eye on love and guess what? Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so, uh, and the key was to um, release the pain. And you did that here. Okay, so, and if you catch yourself in that, switch your, pretend your brain is a switch and you switch it to what your creation is. You turn it, switch, switch. <laughs> okay? <laughs> All right. All right, so let's see what else. Okay, see, and now the magician is upright. Okay, and the high priestess is here, so yes. Now, what I want to say with that is move with your intuition in every moment if you can. Okay, do your meditations, but then take that awareness with you throughout your day, that connection, okay? Because then here is the tower again. Okay, so that's the double confirmation, so... Tune in. Anything that seems unpleasant is going to be small and go away. Also, what I want to say is um, in another card, I think all the major arcanas are represented as dots in the tower card. So the key that you have to look out for with your energy is uh, using the right use of power. Okay, because if you have the power of all the major arcanas, that's a lot of power. So you want to make sure that you're not abusing it. You want to be kind and compassionate to all. Uh, approach people as uh, the vessel of the one love energy. Okay, and if you do get suspicious, try and stay out of duality. Okay, and then that will bring you the highest success. Okay. And I leave that with you, Scorpio. Thank you.